won't be the same without you and Hugo here, Dorte. After a bumpy start, we really got on so well. Ah, oh, Pine Hollow will really miss your style and flair, Dorote. I will certainly miss all of you. If I do leave, that is. You're actually thinking of not going? I've grown very fond of this strange place, so far from home. But you'd be turning your back on trialing for the Olympics. That is true. But the heart is also very important. And my heart tells me you have all become my friends. I do not like to turn my back on my friends. And Red is also my friend. Go, go, go. Oh, Miss Dorothy. She's got real class. You don't know what you're talking about, Scooter. Sure I do. You see, the Irish and the French are very similar, except for the language and the culture and the food. And they've got Paris, they've got Dublin, and they've got... She Seattle. should follow her heart. Yeah, but it's not like every day of the week you get a chance to represent your country. Country? <laughs> Who cares about your country? It's her career that matters. She and Red have something very special. Friendship is worth more than a career. You should be able to have both, shouldn't you? Don't talk soppy. Boys come and boys go. But riding in the Olympics, that's a memory that will last longer than any guy. No, love is what is important. And it's pretty obvious you've got a crush on Red, Lisa. Huh? Well, you're always talking about Red and love. But that doesn't make sense. If I had a crush on him, I'd want Dorothy to go back to France, leaving Red behind for me. OK, guys, can we talk about something else? Dorothy is old enough to make up her own mind. It's really none of our business. Yes, it is. She needs our help. She needs help so she doesn't make a terrible mistake. Boys just don't understand. Hey there, Dorothy. Managing? Hugo has been difficult. Uh, I kind of regret not spending more time with you, Dorothy. And now it looks like I've left my run a bit late. I'm not sure what that means. Well, I mean, you're going home and we never really got acquainted. I haven't decided anything yet. For certain. Well, in that case, I wonder, would you like to go out sometime? I will talk to Antoine. Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought so. No, no, Red. I, I would love to come out with you. It's just that Antoine wants me to do a conference call to the Olympic Selection Committee. I just must ask him which night. So, it's a date then? It's a date, yes. <laughs> See you tomorrow, Deborah. Okay, Red. Can you believe it? Dorothy trying out for a place in the Olympics. As a junior, too. And after all she's been through, she deserves it. Be a shame if anything got in her way. See ya. You sure picked the right night. Chef does a beautiful chocolate special on Tuesdays. I'm not saying the other things aren't great as well, you know. It's, it's just that the, the chef's specials are, are well, special. Yeah. Scooter? Yeah? I, I think they're ready to order over there. Well, I'll get around to them. Can you get around to them now? <clears throat> yeah, you got it. <laughs>
You must feel kind of proud Antoine made such a long journey to see you ride. Of course. Or did he come here for any other reasons? Oh, no, Red. He's an Olympic selector. He does not have any feelings for me. And if he did, I would have to tell him I have feelings for someone else. And who is that? Can't you guess? Do you feel the same way about me? Be shame if anything got in her way. Dorothea, I've been thinking. We have such different lives. Maybe we shouldn't get too close. Maybe before we had a chance, but now. So uh, that'll be two chocolate specials, will it? Um. <clears throat> so that'll be one chocolate special, will it? You won't find a better chocolate mud cake anywhere. You'll regret it. I already do. Hi, Dorothy. How did last night go? I found out what I needed to know. What was that? Is that I like her more than he likes me. <laughs> it simplifies things, really. It makes a decision whether to stay or go much easier. It's for the best. But what did Red say? It's what he didn't say. I told him my feelings and he was very cold. I don't understand. Leave it, Lisa. No. Lisa, back off. Maybe Red should go back to France with you until you've sorted out your feelings. No! Red's place is here. Keep out of it, Lisa. <sighs> Red, what went wrong last night? Everything went right. But Dorothy is so upset. She shouldn't be. I made it easy for her to do the right thing. Which is? What's important is Dorothea's riding future. I've stepped aside so she can follow her star. So you didn't mean what you told her last night? I did what had to be done. You've got to say how you feel. Never mind about anything else. And there are a lot of other things against it. Dorothea's French and sophisticated. I'm just a stable hand from the back of beyond. So if you're so different, how come you've got such big feelings for each other? I saw her again, hanging around Red, whispering in his ear, pretending to be so understanding. That's the saddle club for you. They're all as bad as each other, always thinking they know best. I'm gonna have a word to Red myself. Remind him of all the good things he'd be leaving behind if he chases after Dorote. And tell him how much I like him. What's the matter, fella? Something you ain't giving you grief? Every time you go near it, she behaves like this. You cannot handle a horse like you go. Huh? You ruin it for the time. Stick to what you know. Antoine. Well, get out of your way, mister. Red. Antoine, you should not have said such things. But he's excellent at handling all horses. Oh, Dorothy, I will be relieved when you and uh, you and you go out of here and back in the real world. This place has changed you. I like Pine Hollow. <laughs> that is uh, not what you said in your emails, no? If you would just open your mind, like I did, you would come to like and respect all the people here. Uh, hopefully, I will have left before that. <laughs> Pine 
hollow is full of Michelle. Nasty little girls. Thanks, Dorothy. And a silly boy called Red, who is a paysan lurto, clumsy peasant. Are you sure Dorothy wrote that? Signed, Dorothy. We don't know any other Dorothys, do we? I can't believe it. Look on the bright side, Red. It's better to find out how two-faced she is early on, before you make any big decisions. Local girls are better, Red. You'll see. Hugo! Hugo, no! I will fail if he's like this. What is wrong with him? He's picking up the bad damage from those horses. We must keep him by himself. No! Oui! Oui, absolument! Hope you're big enough to admit that you were wrong. You're the one who's wrong. Going around showing something private to everyone, that's wrong. No, it's wrong of you to push an all-round nice guy like Red together with a two-faced Dorothy. I think Dorothy should try out for the Olympics and not stay with Red. But what you've done is really mean, Christy. It's cruel. Sometimes you've got to be cruel to be kind. Red, just a minute. Red, no matter what happens, I hope we will always be friends. Really? Why would you want to be friends with a clumsy peasant? What is wrong with him? He's usually so even-tempered. It seems like he's angry about something. Are you OK, Dorothy? Not really. Red is acting not like a friend. Okay, so we cannot be close. But still, he should not act so cold. It hurts me. Dorothe, we know why Red is being like this. Why? Tell me. It's because of what you said about him. When? In an email. What email? Christy picked up an email and one dropped in the stables. And in it, he said some really mean things about Red. That email? I sent it the day I arrived here. I was homesick and... and uh, I was in pain from my hiding injury. Of course I do not feel those things now. We must find Red. Hi. Hi. Hey there. Do you think Dorothe should go back to France? Of course. Yeah? You should tell her. It would be so awful if she did the wrong thing and stayed here. Well, I wouldn't say it's the wrong thing. Of course it is. Why? Because what if nobody went back to where they came from? There'd be no room for anybody else. We know you've got a crush on Red. Who says? Everybody. <laughs> don't talk about things you don't understand. What's there to understand? You've got the hots for him. You're both so juvenile and immature. Quite pathetic. Aren't you meant to get smarter as you get older? It's not true, is it? Nah. Come on, pal. Settle down. I'm very sorry about what I said in the email. But how could you even think those things? I was a different person then. It was a bad time in my life. And because I was hurting, I wanted to hurt others. But I do not feel those things now. In fact, I really, really like you, Red. You must know that. Oops. Sorry. Bad timing. So, you guys are OK? Better than OK. <laughs> I've been watching Hugo. I think he's lonely. Antoine's keeping him separated from the other horses, and he hates it. So you think he's not seeing enough of his friends? Yes. 
Why don't we take them on a big outing tomorrow? All together, like old times. <clears throat> what do you think? We must do something. I cannot do the trial, Lexis. Did you want to see me, Max? Ah, oh, yes, Dorote. I, uh, need to ask your advice. And Twan has just made me this amazing offer that I'm, I'm deliberating whether to take. What is it? To take master classes at the Ecole d'Equitation at Lyon. But that is a great honor. They only take 10 people a year. So you think I should? Of course. It is the opportunity of a lifetime, Max. But I mean, how can I leave Pine Hollow for three months? I'll hold down the fort. And your mum will be back, don't forget. You will regret not to go, Max. I hope you all have a good time. <laughs> Looks like Hugo's already having a good time. <laughs> Fred is taking Hugo out for a walk with his friends. But your trial is in three hours. Antoine, it was wrong of you to keep Hugo apart from the other horses. This place has made you crazy. You cannot entrust your precious horse to a, a stable hand and a bunch of 13-year-olds. Fred is the best horse handler I've ever come across. And these 13-year-olds are not far behind him. This whole thing was their idea, and it is already working. Look how calm Hugo is. Well, that's telling him. Dorothy, you are making a mistake. I'll see you soon, Hugo. Just like people, don't you think? Nah, -uh. they're not as weird. <laughs> <laughs> we better get Hugo back. Are you nervous? Not about the trial. About what, then? I feel um, torn. If I succeed in the trial, I will return to France and have a chance to ride in the Olympics. But? But it means I will leave Red behind, and I will be disappointed. If I fail the trial, I will stay at Pine Hollow, but Red will be disappointed. I have not followed my star. I guess Hugo will decide for all of us, then. Yes, maybe. We'll soon see. She could get into the Olympics on looks alone. Looks are deceptive. Thank you. 
Jose. Hey? So was Hugo. You're bound to pass. But we stumbled on that second flame change. Everything else was perfect. Dorothée, you need 87% uh, or more to qualify. You have... 92%. Uh, <sighs> Congratulations, Dorothée. Congratulations, Dorothée. I'm really proud of you, Dorothée. You're going to bring home a gold medal for sure. You made it back in time, Stevie. Otherwise, I would not have seen you before I left. Things surely move fast at Pine Hollow, don't they? <laughs> Here's somebody to say goodbye. <laughs> I'll not be saying goodbye to Red, but au revoir. What's the difference? Au revoir means until we see each other again. That's nice. Saddle club, I um, think it's uh, time we had a saddle club meeting. Huh? I agree. L let's go have that saddle club meeting. Oh, yeah, the meeting. 